Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rookie Balboa run where dreams are being shattered and where we're in the 12th round of a 15 round uh, battle. It is time for not only an attempt to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty with only rookies and only four men, but throw in some permanent dark events some late game action and a protect the device mission uh, to counter one of the worst effects uh, which is undying loyalty the only good part about it is the side trip uh, with low profile doesn't really matter for us so jeranx aaron are going to be the one team grell and universe the other one we got two mimic beacons i want to go in with the uh, bolt caster again as the higher damage may be paired with tail and rounds this time we'll make up for some nice big fat crits if we can get into a flanking position i think that that would uh, make for really really solid positioning the other option would be to pair it with even more tracer rounds and do that question is should i take uh, the obligatory uh, the obligatory uh, lost um, the obligatory lost item what was its name again ultrasonic lure of course the obligatory ultrasonic lure and potentially the answer is no not on this mission we got to move fast and we got to deal a lot of damage and i think that this might be the right place uh, to to actually try to make the bolt caster work if we find some high ground Maybe something with some sort of cover. We could uh, stand there and then it's about reload, shoot, reload, shoot, reload, shoot, reload, shoot. If we could pull this off, at least we're going to improve our damage potential. Let's see how much I can do about a protect the device mission. God, I hate these missions. Okay, we have just landed. God, protect the device missions are just so bad. At least we got what appears to be high ground here, the typical L shape. And we got to protect the device back there. 50 hit points, if I'm not mistaken. So first things first. Got to grapple up. And we got to play this fast and loose. Very aggressive uh, movement. So much for the ultrasonic lure that I should have maybe brought with me. Solid copy. Hey, Aaron moves up. Dranks on the other side moves up as well. And the bolt caster, the infamous bolt caster. We could teleport over here later. For now, let's say up here we got two jumps, so that is okay. Got some more teamwork uh, work to do. And we we just need to move on. But that's not the worst because now the lost and these guys can start hating each other crit for 14 points of damage that is some nasty critting pack is already pulled forty four The losses are charging in. No time to waste here, really. Okay, so look, we can move up here. 
that might be helpful I don't know if there is another heavily armored enemy but I know that we can pull some more loss by blowing this one up Good. Unfortunately, he fell right into the wrong direction. I'm on the move. Moving up. Advanced teamwork. And Jarenks. Come on, kill that Andromedon. Not, uh, not happening. I mean, look, we could move all the way up here, right? It's a reasonably safe place. Should be okay without triggering another pack. Thinning out the loss just a tiny bit. And this might be it. Stun, stun, stun. Come on. Stun for two rounds. That's exactly what we needed. That is definitely what we needed. Half cover isn't going to cut it. Gotta move in a bit deeper. Eh, can't risk. Can't risk being uh, spotted out. Okay, there we go. Both of the both of uh, the mutants might deal with it. Oh, worst possible timing. Gods okay, what what do we have to deal with? Uh, he can summon a savage allies, okay. Doesn't take damage from explosions, generate shielding and low profile. Oh, that's bad, that's really bad. Don't tell me he can already summon. He just entered the scene. The chosen is in position. Time to put it down. That's one of the elders chosen, and it's not going to make things easy on us. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. Okay, these two gentlemen did exactly what I hope uh, they would do. There's another pack here. Nicely dealing with the loss. They are not activated yet, though. Got some here. Well, scratch that, I suppose. And now we finally have the target-rich environment that I was hoping for the entire time. Because believe it or not, I was feeling uncertain about whether or not this mission is going to be too easy. So I decided it would be a good idea to, yes, spice things up a little bit. Okay, we're in full cover, that's not bad. 
got to deal with that Chosen one way or the other. We're taking adjacent positions here because that's the only way of how we can somehow handle uh, the mind control. This could be a kill shot. The other rocket is already gone. Are we taking the high ground or not? That's a good question. Almost asks us to be mind controlled next turn. Yeah, we need to use a mimic beacon anyway, so Let's do this. scratch that. This is going to be a mimic beacon play. I don't think that the Chosen can be frozen. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it can't. Hmm. This is a difficult spot. We need to go all out here. And we need to deal with this gimmick. Can we hit all three? Maybe. Yes, we can. yes we can. There is a spot. Good. This is a very valuable rocket. Almost done. All of the cooldowns this turn. Time to get the mutants down. The loss of these subordinates is as meaningless to me as it is to you. Is he burning? No, he's not burning. I wish he would. Could move up to here. Okay, next turn. He will come alive. We move to here and freeze one of them like the priest move to here freeze the andromedon one more turn but that's a very 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 aggressive position and maybe we just need to chill a bit Can we get a full cover position to chill? Oh, it's not chilling really. But it is a nice full cover position. The other option is shoot, shoot, and hope that the that we're not getting shot from the side. Can't really frostbite. It's almost wasteful.
but we got to deal with the Andromedon. All right, let's do this. The shell is much less problematic. Hate to use dual strike here, but I think we could actually finish the shell. And it's all about taking pieces off the board at this point. I said we're going to go very intensive. For overwatching, might get shot. Overwatch is going to be interrupted. I think he's immune, so... There's no point in trying that. Sixty percent chance. If it doesn't work out, we got a mimic beacon theoretically. Yeah, let's try. Got him. Okay, we still need to use that mimic beacon. The Purifier will not dam damage the Mimic Beacon, and if we place it like over here, Purifier actually needs to come out and, and move for it. good can ignore the purifier for now that's the best case scenario not a mind control both of them will get themselves out of dazing Okay, lots and lots and lots of loss. Well, that's pretty decent damage. He's now in one shot range. This guy potentially will die. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? We can freeze one more time. Could use that for the mind control. Let's get up here first. Two, four, six, eight, nine doesn't work. Let's rock. We have one more repositioning if we want if we want to use it. We got a lot of problems to solve. Good, let's start over here. Two, four, six, eight, nine, another nine. Two, four, six, eight. This guy can die. It's still moving. Uh, 
Gotta deal with the Chosen. Equally so, we're in a really tough spot back here. Serious question, should we reposition or not? Let's try to kill that priest. Two rounds of stun, which isn't bad. Uh, that guy is out for now. No more issues. Trying to get rid of the dashers mainly. No. We could go in Overwatch. Orders confirmed. On the move. 60% not perfect but I think it's not going to get any better this turn so it's still moving. we're seeing kinetic plating that's overwatch Should be out of ammunition now. Yeah, okay, I tracked it correctly. Alright, one of them is burning, one of them still is well and alive. This guy is. Very much a problem. But they're helping us a bit. This here is a problem. That is actually quite okay. Do we have an auto reloader? Superior auto -re reloader. Okay, that's good. Because we will need it. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, that's a kill. kill confirmed. Ready to go. Reloading. Guns drive. Keep it going. Those two are zoomed in. Got so we leave them right where they are. These we unfortunately will need to kill. Can't let our friend be harassed like that. Okay. Ok. 
purifier is irrelevant the trooper has all the other things to do i think we're going for the big guy do we have a repeater advanced repeater okay come on now would have been a great time for a nice little repeater shot Only a normal repeater, right? Yeah. Good enough. If I have an idea though. It's a bit unconventional. Frost bite on our own comrade. on the warlock reloading there's a chance that we insta kill him okay lots and lots of enemies at least everybody is engaged with us, uh, so that's not too bad. Good reloads, that's good, that's good. Pretty much failed. Oh boy, it's not looking that good. One of our soldiers is in a daze. We need to snap him out of it. Move to there, yes. Moving up. Our percent hit. Do we have a repeater? Yes, we do. Kind of counting on it. let a Aaron get uh, stolen I can't I, I just can't no longer dazed We will take one hit. The question is, this is a potential repeater kill. Yep. Okay, let's go for it. Negative damage. He's wide open. Was that meant for me? a couple of hits yeah burn burn him yeah that's fine just not our guys all right cool that solves the issue
Mine Scorch. Mine Scorch. That's a problem. Such a good position. Mind control will run off after this round. Now some of the losses are still here, not many though. Wow, we're falling down. Great. If we stun him, I don't even know if he can be stunned. But I sure as hell know if we hit him, it's going to hurt. 60% chance for crit. Damn right. Alright, that's 15 points of damage. Not bad. Moving over. We ignore the fire, potential fire damage. Just really, 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 really need an execution here. He's the most dangerous enemy on the field, and the repeaters are just not triggering. Everything is burning. Mine Scorch. Uh, not good. Do we have... No, oh, wow. Well, luckily... He only overwatched, okay. position ourselves here it's not triggering overwatch problem is right over there is the next enemy Easy now, soldier. What are you doing? Ah, and the disorientation just on top of the kind of icing on the cake to add insult to injury Thirty percent, not good enough. No chance to kill uh, this thing, but a good chance to injure it quite hefty. And I think we're just overwatching.
Very good. Well, on the positive uh, side, once mind control is gone, the disorientation is also gone. We see someone from here. Anyone? No, we can't. Closing on target position now. Right, mind control gone. Okay. We're still burning, so we gotta move a bit away. Fifty fifty on that trooper. Can I move somewhere where I'm not going to burn? The answer is likely not. No. Which means we gotta take that fifty fifty. Nailed him. Okay, taking Taking enemies off the battlefield. Next turn, we're going to go in. And we'll hopefully continue hitting him. Mine Scorch. Good, one auto revived, the other one we can revive and we could even reload. We're okay for now. Okay-ish, I should say. I would like to take some solid cover. Small repeater chance. Air trigger, come on. There we go. Oh my god, what a absolute F fest of a fight. Ooh, why does every fight here feel cancerous? It's just they are it it's like hitting a brick wall, you're you're punching it. I, I'm not usually hitting brick walls, but I'm trying to make a metaphor here for the purpose of making metaphors. Don't don't think that I'm a wall puncher type of guy. Um, so we're hitting, we're kind of hitting a brick wall, right? And I'm just wondering why? How, how are we supposed to, uh, to hit him? It's like one punch after the other, the wall like grows thinner and thinner and thinner. And 
eventually after like hours of punching it the guy finally goes down We're still bleeding. Let's hunker down. I don't want to die yet. It's killing time. Okay, well, Aaron could get out of range, sort of. Okay, it's an atypical protect the device mission. I will tell you that. Typically, it's more a question of how fast can you protect the device versus an onslaught of enemies. This time, it felt really like how could you even survive uh, that. And at times, I think on our height, we had two mutants, one Andromedon, one priest, one normal... Uh, mm, uh trooper elite trooper one purifier and the lord chosen himself plus then one of these faceless ones all at the same time and about two dozen uh, loss being mind controlled at the same time two characters at the same time this was just a nightmare mission wow Yeah, that definitely looked like uh, the mission. Wounded, 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 heavily wounded, 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 wounded. And we got a scientist, and even more importantly, we countered undying loyalty. The worst. The absolute worst. In terms of... In terms of dark events. Gotta put someone here to improve our healing rate. And we got a lot of Fear of Chosen. Great. But we're holding on just by a thread. Guys, I can tell you, I don't know if it comes through by watching it, but this is really, really tough. Every single mission is like a, <coughs> is like a massive punch. I, I don't remember the last simple mission. Each of the Chosen starts to uh, be a problem as well. Alright. Yeah, well. Avob. Uh, yes, please. Because he's one of our prime, prime rookies. Divert needs that negative trait removed. I can think of several ways you could well, wonderful Advent uh, stun lancers are now even stronger than before. Fifty intel. I stand corrected, it was not fully worth it. But if we get a little bit more intel, maybe we can pull this one off. I'm wondering if we should use the time to just purchase at the black market. Potentially not. Just wait until next month, uh, Psych, and there will be a superior uh, scope in the black market. We have made a number. New discoveries, Commander. Plasma lands. Great. Unfortunately, not the breakdown that I was hoping for. Let's From what I've been go with a sector port. I was sincerely hoping we would uh, be getting some research breakthroughs. The plasma weapon one in particular would be great. 
but it's not meant to be. Instead, we're getting another extract the VIP. Oh. I know the game is trying to be nice and give us intel, but really? Do we even have a team that we can field for that one? Or is it going to be a Hail Mary play? Sona and Tracy Elliott could go into, the, uh, into that. Accompanied maybe by Shinrod and X. But you know what? Shinrod and X also could get level 3 training. Yes, please. Because then we have four pairs of rookies that are maxed out. And yeah, I mean, look, we can take the two and then uh, two other rookies. That certainly can work. That certainly can work. Okay, I think that's the end of uh, this episode. The experimental powered weapon will not finish before we're done. And that is really unfortunate. And I think we did not get another core. No, we did not. That is also unfortunate. Finally, can we upgrade New orders, Commander? something here? No, no. No, nothing that we need. I'd rather sit on the resources for now. You never know when you will need them. An EMP grenade could be helpful to deal with the sector port. But then again, what what are we going to do? Throw it at him? It's typically not uh, how it works. I mean, yes, we could throw it at him. Chances are he's going to maw us down in the process of trying that. Okay, it's the end of uh, this mission. Guys, please leave a comment down below. That fight was epic and it, this video deserves uh, some attention of the algorithm. Hit the smash uh, the like button and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.